on earth can that judge expect you to move under the same roof with Todd? Look, he thinks if we're both living with the kids, then we'll stop fighting over them. Well, he's the one who has been throwing the punches. You've just been defending Look, yourself. I'm, I'm just telling you it's serious here. The judge says that Todd and I have to get along or he's going to put our children in foster care, okay? Oh, my... Yeah. No. Not if my lawyers have anything to do with it. Dorian, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've been on the phone all morning trying to convince that judge to change his mind. And what happened? What? I wouldn't even consider it, all right? So now what do we do? Well, now I have to move in with Todd. I mean, today. Oh, God. I'm really going to need one of those hangover remedies that Mo makes. All right, well, I'll have him whip you up one. You can't. It's not going to be that big a deal. I mean, he'll be glad to do it for you. I kicked him and Noel out of this house yesterday. What? Well, I I don't have time to go into Dorian, all of that. I you kicked Noel and Mo out of the fire cannot, shot. What happened at the party? You can't leave me. You cannot leave me. Alone in this house. You're not going to be alone. You'll have Langston, okay? What happened with Langston? We had a, a few words. What do you mean a few words? What? Few, what? Oh, well, I told you that last night I had a little bit too much to drink. All right, I had a lot too much to drink, and I totally lost control, and now she absolutely hates me, okay? And the last thing I recollect, is she pushed me into the pool. Okay, I know Dorian was wasted and said way too much, but it wouldn't have mattered if your parents weren't from the Dark Ages. Well, I told you. I mean, why do you think it took me so long to get my condoms? Look, my parents will calm down, I promise. Are you sure? Sort of. You know who started this whole thing? My Uncle Ray. None of this would have happened if Dorian still had a man on a leash. I don't want you moving in with Todd. Do you not hear me? I don't have a choice here. That's what the judge ruled. Yes, you do have a choice. Damn it, have him move in here. Gosh. Oh, you want my slug of an ex-husband living under your roof again. Oh, really? It's just a strategy, Blair. You need home court advantage, and here you have got something that Todd can never take away from you. And what's that? Me. You really don't want Star to have to fight off her father every time that Cole wants to come and see that baby. Where is she? Where's oh. our baby? Dorian! Oh. <laughs> oh, look at her. And she has blue eyes just like you. I know. Your mom told me all about it. So you know that we're keeping her? Yes! <laughs> and I couldn't be happier. Okay, well, Dorian, I would like you to meet Hope. And Hope, hey, say bonjour to your Aunt Dorian. Ooh, bonjour. <laughs> I couldn't be happier for you, for all of us. Would you like to hold her? I would love to. I really would. I just, honestly, I'm... <laughs> I just not feeling, you know, I'm under the weather today. Oh. Well, maybe, maybe we should take her somewhere else. That, that might be a very good idea, you know. And uh, I promise you, when I'm feeling better, I'm going to shower her with attention. <laughs> In the meantime, you know, maybe some toast would be a good okay. idea. You want some orange juice with that, oh, too? Ooh, ooh. No. Okay. Just please, um, make sure that I am not disturbed, all right, honey? Thank you. Okay. And, um, you know what? Make sure that Baby Hope knows that I intend to spoil her rotten, as befits the newest generation of Kramer women. Just as soon as I feel better. Oh! I said I didn't want to be disturbed. 
How you feeling? Lots better now that you're here. Really? All right. I know that I owe you an apology oh, for... Oh, forget the apology, Dorian. Sweetheart, please. Please, nothing. Marco's parents are forbidding us to see each other. Forbid That's terrible. It's all your fault. So if you want forgiveness, fix it. I can't believe you, Dorian. You promised you said you had everything under control. And Marco's parents are supposed to be here, like, now. No fake fingernails, subtle makeup, and practically my own hair. They're here. Darling, our first guests are arriving. Okay, and what if it's the Riveras? We're totally screwed. No worries. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, don't open the door. We'll, we'll just pretend we're not here, that you got your dates mixed up. I'm gonna do nothing of the kind. <gasps> no one's coming. Marco's parents are gonna think you got them here with a lie. That's untrue. And what are we gonna say when they ask where your other guests are? We'll improvise. Oh, God. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Rivera. <laughs> Please, do come in. May I offer you an iced tea? Or perhaps just some water. Congas or singas. And then again, my chef, he has a signature cocktail. Well, several of them. Virgin, of course. Virgin pina colada, virgin mojitos, virgin bloody uh, marys. I'll go out con gas. Right, Dad? I'll have a sparkling water, too, please. Dr. Lord. Ah, Sven. <laughs> Sven will be serving us tonight. Uh, he was one of Maurice's original hires, so of course he came back when I offered Maurice back his job. <laughs> so you see, we're all one great big happy family. <laughs> Sven, yeah. sparkling water all around. Yeah, sure. You betcha. Please, won't you sit down? Uh, <clears throat> well, there was practically no traffic getting over here tonight, so um, if, if we're too early, we Nonsense, can just... nonsense. Your parents are welcome in my house at any time at all. In fact, it is... It is a great honor to have you in my home once again, Mr. Rivera. Mm -hmm. Can't we all sit down? Langston and I spent a lovely afternoon with your wife when she accepted our invitation to tea. I apologize to her for my appalling lack of propriety at Marco's graduation party. And now, I'd like to apologize to you. Dr. Lord was not herself, Ernesto. Aurelia, we said it would be Dorian, but truly, that is very kind of you. You're not drinking this evening? Is that it? Puppy. I would like to think that I can learn from my mistakes and learn quickly. Uh, my overindulging in alcohol did nothing to help the situation. And in fact, it caused heartbreak for Marco and Langston. Sparkling waters? Yeah. Sven, <clears throat> thank you so much. Great. That's uh, just what the doctor ordered. It's, uh, it's brutal out there. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's quite a heat wave. Yes, the weather is, is unpredictable. Not unlike people who are often far from the picture they paint themselves. Is Senor Stubbs in the kitchen? Mr. and Mrs. Stubbs were, of course, invited as my guests, but <laughs> Maurice absolutely insisted. I mean, the wild horses could not drag him out of that kitchen. And the others? Mr. Evans, Mrs. Davidson, Mr. Banks? Uh, Dad, we got here early. Are they in the kitchen as well? <sighs> Look, I agree, Dorian was rotten to us, but it sure would have been nice to have been told about the invitation. You want the long and short of it? Miss High and Mighty wants us to act like 
It doesn't matter that she fired us and threw us out. She drugged me, poured liquor down my throat, fired me for no reason. You know, after all the things that that woman has done to me over the years and to Charlie, we just told her that she could solve her own problems with the Riveras. Sean and I ripped up our invitations. Should have made a bonfire. Yeah. She treated us like trash, Noel. And if Marco's daddy thinks she's worse than a scorpion in December, it's because she is. Yeah, right. I'm supposed to sit there and say, well, she drugged me, poured liquor down my throat, but I'm sure it was all just a little misunderstanding. <laughs> right. You know? So, Mr. Rivera, she gave us her house uh, while she fake converted to Buddhism and then fired us and threw us out. But <laughs> what the heck? We're letting bygones be bygones. It would appear that Les Poulets have come home to Lobule <laughs> to roost. <laughs> but what about Marco and Langston? You know, those two sweet kids who are in love? Aren't they what this dinner is about? Fixing it so that they can be together? I thought you all were better than this. Sean is upstairs with my niece Blair's little boys, Jack and sweet little Sam. They adore him. We all do. Uh, can we uh, refresh your drinks? Or perhaps you'd like to switch up to something a little more... Virgin, perhaps? No, thank you. We're fine for now. I adore not drinking alcohol. It makes the evening so much more vivid. What about Mrs. Davidson? Both she and her fiancé, Mr. Banks, were invited, were they not? Oh, yes, absolutely. And they will be here. Vicky is one of my dearest friends. In fact, I was once married to her late father, Victor Lord. I'm sure you've heard of him. I understand you were accused of his murder. Is this not true? Dad, we're here to have a nice dinner and to, to get to know each other better. It's perfectly all right, Marco. My life is an open book. Certainly accessible to anybody with the internet to read all about. Which is exactly what I did. And what I found was that you were... It happened a very long time ago, and I was falsely accused. My mother is a very amazing woman, and if you would just get to know her, you would see that... What kind of woman she is? Ernesto, we're guests. Apparently the only ones. I was led to believe that the people you treated so poorly would be here. And they will be. In fact, I'm going to check... Never mind, please excuse me for just one moment. I'll be right back. <laughs> 